Question for you, Todd. Is this a good time to get into the real estate industry? It is a good question, Ian. I know how that goes to your head, but it is a good question. Thank you. Um, let me let me break this down um, in a way. Look, I, I know very few people. This is crazy, but I know very few people who have not at one point or another at least considered getting into the real estate business. It, it seems like everyone I talked to is like, yeah, I was in real estate in the 80s. Or, you know, I've thought about getting into the business. Or, I, you know, I looked at taking my courses. Um, there's there's a bad aspect of that, that generally speaking, the, commu- the, the market knows that it's a little too easy to get into the real estate business. And that's true. It is a little too easy to get into the real estate business. Um, if I had my way, it would be more difficult. And there would be a tighter filter and a higher bar uh, to get through or over to get into the business, to have people's financial future, home, safety, security, uh, investment in your hands, you would have to be better prepared. But that's not the case. That's the way the world works. Um, so all that to say, um, because of the low barrier to entry, the things that people think and the approach that people take to getting into the business are often quite flawed. So you see people rushing into the business when the news media says the market's hot. And you see people hesitating to get into the business or getting out of the business when the news media says the market is slowing or challenged or difficult. I would argue that the most fulfilling times to be in the business are when the consumer, the homeowner, or the the person desiring to be a homeowner understand loud and clear that this is a really challenging market and understand that they really do need a true expert and can see and appreciate the value of a true expert. But doesn't that go against like we, we've talked about this a little bit, but people think that this is a really easy time to be in this industry, mm-hmm. right? Uh, it's easy to sell a house. It's easy to do this. Anybody could do this. You sit on a throne of lies. So what 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 happens to most people? Like that just, because it feels like we know the truth of that, yep. right? We're not sitting on the throne of lies. I think when we talk to people about whether or not this is the right decision for them to make, I feel like we're giving them a really clear picture, but what what do most people do? Yeah, so I haven't answered the question yet on purpose. The question was, is this a good time to get into the real estate business as an agent or some other you know career related to the business? To Ian's question, what do most people do? Statistically, most people fail within the first two years. They they take courses online. Now there's some live you know classes, but the majority of people currently are taking their classes online. They're going and finding a broker with the, quote, best splits, best commission splits, which means the highest split to the agent, which inevitably means less training and resources. But um, brokerages are in the business of selling agent positions. The brokerage typically doesn't have any major concern with the buying and selling of houses. A brokerage makes its business by recruiting and retaining real estate agents. And a good agent then makes their living by taking great care of buyers and sellers. I don't understand. How how does the brokerage make yeah. money? So it, not every brokerage works the same, but the vast majority of brokerages make their money through earning commission splits when they partner with real estate agents. That's where the word agent comes from. They are an agent of the broker, a representative of the broker. They have to have the authority and, and sort of legal protection, licensing protection of a more senior, more qualified, more licensed, tenured, whatever uh, professional, which typically is referred to as a broker. So the company, the business model of the brokerage normally is get more agents, keep more agents. And then those agents primary daily concern is buyers, sellers, and investors. So I know I haven't answered the question yet. I'm going to get there in a minute, but the reason I'm doing this is because I think sadly the general public doesn't have a very good picture of this. They have a a surface level picture. And so the assumption is there's a full understanding 
And that's what's led to a lot of the negativity in our industry where most people fail within two years. Because I think a lot of people choose their agent based on the brokerage though, right? Because they have an expectation of what that's going to look I, like. I think it's I'm not going to name brokerages, but somebody yeah. could be like, I want to hire somebody from name yeah. your big Less, company. I think less and less that's true because more and more people are realizing that there's not a lot of differences in those big brokerages. But yes, I, I do think some people generally respect one brand over another or they feel like one brand is strong in their area and they have a feeling that that brand will determine their experience where more often than not, it, will, it won't at all. There may be two or 200 agents at a brokerage, which normally means you're gonna have two or 200 different business models. Now, our model at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team is different as a team. I own the brokerage and really the only people here are the team. Now, this isn't about me. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on that, but ours is different because each agent is delivering the same experience because we have a seven step proprietary marketing system for our sellers and a 13 point program for our buyers. And every agent here is executing that same, you know, uh, sy system and principle that I've built over the last 20 years. And those seven steps is just like the T like the yeah, key, just like the there's so many major sub things yeah. under that. Good, good clarification. Thank you. Now to answer the question you asked, Yes, I think it's a great time to get into the business. But you're starting to see people say, hey, the ride is over, and they're wrong. You know, the market's starting to change, or there's no listings out there to get. And so we're seeing people kind of hesitate to get into the business. And I would, with all due respect, I would say, if a simple headline like that is strong enough to discourage you from getting into the business, then don't. Yeah. Because it's a hard business to be in. I think to be legitimately successful and to deliver world-class value in any service, product or service, it's difficult. It requires a full effort. It requires dedication, time, energy, commitment. So people that are looking to get into real estate for easy money and a quick buck, I don't think those people should ever get into the business. But if you want to be great at something and you want to impact families and individuals at the ground level on a daily basis, then it's a great business. And I think it's a good time to get into the business because we're closer to a market where people really understand their need for an agent. But right now there's this assumption that we talked about earlier that it's easy to sell and that the only way to win in buying is just spend the most money. So the agent's not as important. We're approving over here in 2021, our, our sellers sold for 12.1% more than their neighbors. I just don't. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That's a real number. Yeah. 12.1% 12, 12 more. You have a $500,000 house. You just made more than $60,000 more than your neighbor that sold basically the same house on basically the same lot, same time of year. That doesn't happen by accident. And yet I can't think of many industries where I'm going to very generalize here almost everyone thinks they would be successful in doing this, yep. right? Nobody well, wakes up in the morning and says, you know what? I think I'm gonna go be a brain surgeon today. That right. sounds <laughs> that sounds interesting. Or, or, or eat, look, brain surgeon's an extreme example, but it's, it, it still gets the point across. Well, let's but, just say doctor, I well, mean, same thing. E even if you said, um, look, I don't, I, now I'm careful what I say because people are gonna think I'm minimizing it, but um, almost any job, very few people wake up and think, I'm just gonna go jump into that with very little prep. But the whole the whole culture reinforces it by saying, man, you're so outgoing and personable, you should get into sales. Yeah. As if that's the only requirement to be effective in sales is just to be nice right. or conversational. There's no discipline or, or dedication or technical knowledge requirement, it's just silliness. But the answer to the question is, I think it is a good time to get into real estate if you are looking to be fully committed, to work full time, to learn constantly, and to serve others and put their needs above your own, then it's a great time. By the way, uh, we're hiring. Uh, if you just go to toddtremonteteam.com, you can click a button, fill out a form, email us, uh, text or call any number. Uh, the very front end of that process isn't super formal. Once we chat, then we'll put you through a multi-step process. But uh, we are looking for one or two people in our Fort Worth office, just west of downtown Fort Worth, and one or two people in our Dallas office, which is actually in West Richardson, just off of 75 in Arapahoe. Go to toddtremonteteam.com if you're interested in getting in the residential real estate sales business. 
with a team where you would be trained by me, by Ian, by our other key leaders, where you would have access to the training courses, the marketing materials, uh, the support staff, the technology, the leads, uh, the culture, the client parties, the newsletters, just about anything and everything you could need to expedite, to speed up the process of being successful in residential real estate. If you're looking to get into real estate in 2022, we're looking to hire two to four people split between our Fort Worth office and our Richardson office. Go to tatramaniteam.com or call or text 214 214- 3100008 that's 2143100008 now we don't require any experience you can have zero experience in real estate whatsoever get your license and we will train you on the real estate we are looking for certain personality traits and disciplines and um, and and commitment of fit for our team. Because again, not everybody should be in sales. Well, I, I saw someone the other day post on, on social media, I'm interviewing brokers this week. And I chuckled a little bit Yep. because that's typically how it goes, right? Yep. Brokers will hire anybody and agents are determining which broker they want. And with our team, it's, it's the opposite. And that doesn't mean, you know, we're more valuable or more important than the agent, but we interview dozens and dozens and dozens of agents every year. And most years we hire zero or one because we have a very selective approach because we only hire perfect fit folks. I remember when we hired Andrew on our team, uh, he's joined us March ish time to go through our training Mm -hmm. this year as a buy specialist. Uh, we were the only company that he told me that just didn't flat out offer him a job on the very first time that they met with him. Right. And, and just about everybody that we interview says the exact same thing. Yep. Hey, I've met with ABC, CBD, uh, XYZ, and every one of them, you know, pushed a paper across the uh, table and told me to sign and I was welcome to join and I could start paying my fees. It's a lot of alphabet brokerages. Yeah. And Mason caught the CBD reference in there. That was for him. Um you know, we, we don't need, this is not actually not a recruiting pitch for us, but we are hiring and, and we have a unique approach where we don't have a lot of agent fee. We actually have no agent fees whatsoever. We invest in our team members so that we succeed together and we fail together. Uh, but we take on the vast majority of, of the risk and the burden, uh, which is why we're careful and selective. So just go to tatramonteteam.com or call or text 214-310-0008. If you want to get into the real estate business, because I do think now's a good time if you're looking to be full-time and fully committed. The thing about a really good hiring process as well is that when we find the right people, we invest deeply in making sure that they're going to be successful. Like that, like we're not gonna hire somebody unless we think that they're gonna be successful and we invest in that. And then when we see that on the back end actually come to fruition, so exciting. So like, rewarding. It's so, so much cool. Fun. To see fan, like our team Christmas party, just to see Andrew and his wife so happy. So excited. Within one year, they had just turned their life and career around. So, so cool. And that's not the norm, right? It's obviously not the norm to invest so much in your people. Usually it's like, hey, here's your license. You can start paying me. Good luck. Hope it works out. Well, um, I mean, I've been doing this six years now. And I remember when I got my license and I left the, the, building where you pay your first set of money <laughs> and you, they're just uttering the words good luck and all yeah. i can hear like is taken the movie <laughs> taken no i just hear the movie taken i'm just imagining Liam neeson yeah. and the guy on the other end of the phone with just good luck yeah crazy it's rough out there have a fun one uh, anyway we love it we love being different if you're looking to get into the real estate business and you feel like working with us would be fun and it would push you to be a better person and deliver value to your clients then head over to toddtremonteteam.com and let us know however you like. 